Mina, Ohio Gazai Mush, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Yep, it's Monday morning, uh, and here's the Sunday message, and unfortunately this one is not going to be 30 minutes. Uh, it didn't happen today. Again, it, it was my fault. I should have done it. I didn't. I got caught up in a new anime I've been watching. So, uh, ReZero, for anyone who's curious, really, really good. It's no excuse, but that is the reason. So I apologize for my lack of diligence yet again. I did get out that one 30-minute message. Um, it's just, yeah, it's it, it from instead of super duper early in the morning, it's like oh, it's like daylight out and stuff. I think you can see it kind of at the bottom of my window over there. There's a little bit of daylight out there. So apologies there, but I am getting something out there today. The 30-minute message. Hopefully it won't wait until next Saturday again. Hopefully I will get it out within the next few days. I don't see any huge dilemmas standing between me and it. Like last week, I knew it was going to be busy. This week, I think it's chilled off a little bit. We'll see. Now, on to the message. We're already a minute into this. This is Job chapter 39, and it is once again a chance to just look at the glory of God in nature. We'll start at verse 1. Do you know the time when the wild mountain goats bear young? Or can you mark when the deer gives birth? Can you number the months that they fulfill? Or do you know the time when they bear young? They bow down. They bring forth their young. They deliver their offspring. Their young ones are healthy. They grow strong with grain. They depart and do not return to them. Let's come down to verse 26. Does the hawk fly by your wisdom and spread its wings toward the south? Does the eagle mount up at your command and make its nest on high? On the rock it dwells and resides, on the crag of the rock and the stronghold. From there it spies out the prey, its eyes observe from afar. Its young ones suck up blood, and where the slain are, there it is. And the whole chapter goes on about things like this. Now while we understand a bit more about how nature works as opposed to how they understood it back then, just because you understand the mechanics of how it works, that doesn't take away from the awe of, wow, this is majestic. This is powerful. This is beautiful. This is fierce. This is a little bit on the scary side. It doesn't take away from those basic raw emotions that we feel. It also doesn't take away from our intellectual stimulation and curiosity of how to get this way. Oh, this is how this works. Well, that makes sense. If it makes sense, why does God have to not be a part of that? If it makes sense, it's like, wow, it's ordered. It's in place. Wow, God's pretty amazing the way he put all that together. All these things, what we know and what we don't know, can all point toward the amazing, awesome, incredible God who did put all of this together. And when I look at nature, yeah, I understand how some of it works. Not a ton of it. I'm not a scientist by trade, but you know, I graduated from high school like the vast majority of people. So I, I have the basics down, or some of the basics down. I get how some of nature works. It doesn't change the fact that I am in awe of what God's done. Heck, just looking, just looking at how the human body works, how the eyes and the ears and the senses and the brain and the heart and the nervous system, the cardiovascular system, and all the other systems that are in the body, how they all work together and make one moving machine. That is glorious. It's amazing. It's astounding. And I have to bow my head and raise my hands towards me and just say, God, you're amazing. Thank you for the wonderful evidence you've given just by, just by the world that we live in, just by existing. We see traces of his hand and whispers of his voice. Just because we understand it doesn't mean he's not behind it and doesn't mean we can't appreciate what God has done. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. 30-minute message will be coming out soon. I love you. And God bless.